Well, welcome back to the MLG play 4v4 search and destroy kickoff. You just saw map number one on Warhawk, won by phase by a score of 4 to 1. We're moving into Octane for the next map. As Optic Gaming, they need to win this one. If they lose, they're out of the tournament. Now, let's see who's on offense first. And it's going to be the Ghost team. It'll be Optic on the first offensive rounds here. Now, on offense on this map, you spawn with some, some pretty good positioning. You spawn at the strip club. You could, of course, push out over towards your street humbies and try to work with that position that's a great spot to be in especially if you're going to challenge the broken building of course you could easily just rotate around to the b bomb site which is pretty wide open for the taking the best way the defense can kind of rotate to that bomb site is just by uh, playing top pawn shop and uh leaning across the walls or trying to push up near the bus but big timer he's on your screen because well he's he's the bomb carrier for the team and it does look like optic they want to push towards the b bomb site let's go over to j cap who's being a bit more aggressive and of course j cap He's just a beast with these bursts around of guns, so he's going to be using the MSBS. So his teammate get taken out near top A apartments, or top B apartments for uh, this game on us. The B bomb sites aren't there, but A domination is right around this area. But J-Cap just looking for that kill. Big Timer's going to take position near the middle tank, and of course you see the other player that'll be uh, Scumpy, I believe. Yep, over near the strip club. J-Cap does find one, and he's going to take out spaces, so that evens the man count. Of course, it Gives FaZe the information that, all right, we see that a couple of opti optic players are set up near the B bomb site. Maybe we got to rotate over and really try to lock down that positioning. Jacob going to peek out of these top apartments, just looking for someone as he knows that nade shot died around this area. And if you look at the scoreboard, though, it was Spacey that got that kill. So Spacey's dead, so there shouldn't really be anybody here. Bomb does get dropped as replays is over near the strip club. Scumpy does get the cleanup kill. And they still have a, a good chunk of time to work with here. A minute remaining on the clock. So they could really go to either bomb site here. They just want to start moving around the 45, 40 second mark to try to go over to that site. But Skunk is going to be sliding across and he gets picked off. Classic with the sniper rifle. Looks like he's set up over near the pawn shop. j -Cat moving around trying to get an angle. Yep, spots him over near pawn shop. Trying to get the shots down. Moves in. Does pick up the bomb as he makes his way over to the A bomb site. Taking fire from both players now. They're over near the A bus. J-Cap in a sticky situation. But still 30 seconds to play with here. Spots one takes out Classic. Looking for the second as it's going to be Huddle remaining for phase. And J-Cap knows that the last time he spotted him, he was over near this truck area, maybe near bottom pawn shop. But he's going to figure that he's going to rotate back as he's taking fire. He has to make a decision. Is he going to go for the bomb plant or challenge? Looks like the bomb plant might be J-Cap's decision. He's going to pop up. Nate gets thrown down. 10 seconds remaining. Oh man, what is Huddle gonna do? Is he gonna push the bomb site? J Cap going for the bomb plant. There's of course plenty of time. The bomb does get planted. J Cap does manage to get out of there, but spots Huddle picks up the kill near bottom apartments. The 1v2 clutch for J Cap gives Optic a 1 0 lead. Take a look at this in the round and he kill him. Spots Huddle. One burst right to the shoulder, takes him out. Superb play by J Cap, as now we're gonna be watching the phase guys. And the player I want to watch, it's got to be Classic. I mean, last time we saw Classic uh, in the pro scene, it was Modern Warfare 2. So it's been quite some time since he's played at the high competitive level. I want to see how he's adapting. And more importantly, what is he using in Ghosts? I mean, I think he, he was using more of a sniper rifle. Yet yeah, he's got overkill on. He's got a sniper in his back pocket as he's going to be trying to work this first pick for his team. You see him peeking over towards top pawn shop, just trying to work these angles. I didn't spot anybody near the common positions over near gas station. As it seems, they're clearly working over towards the B bomb site. Neat shot goes down as first blood in the round. And classic, just, you know, trying to work any angle he could find. I really like jumping on the truck to uh, Huddle's right or to Classic's right as well. You can jump on the truck and get a, a really nice line of sight on the pawn truck jump up, where a lot of players like to, to set up. But Classic just still trying to work these angles. You see replays, he will get the bomb down fairly early on in the round as now Optic, they gotta try to retake the bomb site. One player top pawn shot, that's gonna be Scumpy taking out Spacey. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Huddle finds one player over near the pawn truck. Won't pick up the kill, but spots another one. Does connect onto Scumpy. And that's a big kill from FaZe. Is now 20 seconds remaining on the bomb timer. See Classic with the sniper rifle connecting onto Jcap. Spots the last player, that'll be a big time in the middle alley. The phase plays, they just need to stay alive. Big T has to go to the bomb site. Has to try to get this defuse off. Replays will check. Spots big timer and picks up the final kill of the round. As phase answer back with a B push of their own. 
And now we're all tied up at one round apiece. Let's see replays with that Mtar. Is that? Yeah, I think that's an Mtar. Switching sides. But good stuff from him. There's your scoreboard. It's gonna be J Cap on top for Optic, and we're gonna switch right over to him. Went over to the Ghost team. And you know, in search and destroy, you got 15 seconds at the start of round as opposed to 10 in in Black Ops. So these players have a, a ton of time to kind of talk about what they're doing, you know, get their classes, you know, all set up. But let's go over to JCap, MSBS in hand. Looks like he's got a tactical as well as a frag grenade. As uh, you know, they might have been trying to go for an A push, but JCap, he's just gonna rotate back. You see that uh, they actually lost the nade shot. I'm not sure uh, where he went. I didn't see any notification that he dropped out of the game either. So I imagine that the game might end after this round. And uh, yeah, I think they, they want it ended this round. I mean, yeah, I, I'd agree with that. You know, Jcap, I mean, uh, nade shot was out at the start of the round. So we we'll just end it here. It's all tied up. One round apiece. Nade shot comes back. We'll restart this back up. But Octane, it's, it's playing out for some great search and destroy. From what I've seen, I mean, we, I've only seen two rounds, but I, maybe I could spawn in and play around. Again. Search this? Oh, man. Defend the objective. But anyways, we've seen two offensive rounds, and both times the offense has moved over to the B bomb site. And I think the reason of that is when you see the defensive team spawn, they spawn, you know, over near back pawn trap, and they have enough time to get to bottom broken and make an effective challenge over near the strip humbies. So that kind of shuts down a lot of room to work with over near the A bomb site. So the offense is really easy to rotate around to the apartments, you know, fight top pawn because you got some good position to work with over there. Hey. And the B bomb site, it's really wide open for the taking. Yo. I mean, I like that the it looks like Nate Shot is back into the game. We don't even need to go oh, to commercial break. Right. We can start we this one back that. up. No, but let good. us know I'm what you're thinking of Call of Duty Ghosts as yeah. well as uh, the search and destroy that's going on right now. From what I've heard from all of the players yeah, is search and destroy plays out so well. They love playing search in this game. I wish we had the option to make it a minute and a half rounds as well as up to six, but hopefully that'll get patched in later into the game, uh, hopefully before Columbus as well. I, I would love to play Search and Destroy like it was in Black Ops 2 in terms of the settings, but I mean, what I'm seeing on the maps, Warhawk, it played out very well, and I apologize if I say Warhawk pretty weird. I, I kind of started noticing it myself. I think it's just my New York accent, like Warhawk. I don't know. I think I say it kind of weird, but that played out so well. You saw FaZe taking that map. 4-1 uh, in terms of total round count. They left working that B bomb site on offense. Then in the final round to close it out, they made uh, an A push. Kind of a slow A push. They made sure that uh, you know they were putting pressure over near A domination to force Optic back. And Space was able to get the bomb down. But in Octane, as I was just saying, it was all B pushes so far. And the map has started back up. We're going to enter this one. Keep, keep in mind, it's a 1-1 uh, a -one -one score right now. So first to three rounds is going to take this. It's going to be Optic on offense, phase on defense. Actually, I'm, I'm going to go over to the defensive team. We're going to see you know, how the defense kind of pushes out, you know, how they take position, where they set up around the map. And I think it's going to be the Federation team's defense. Yeah, I'm right on that. And uh, I, I want to watch some more classic. I really like how he's playing around the map with his sniper. He's working some interesting line of sights that uh, I haven't really seen. Of course, you know, the game's only been out for two days. So we're learning from classic here in the, in the phase guys. Go right into the action. Unfortunately, you know, the scores don't carry over. But Classic, where are you, buddy? That's all. This is Classic. And you see, he's able to get to this A bomb site very early. Actually, let's go over to his teammate. This is going to be replaced. Just taking cover back broken. So, FaZe, they're not actually pushing up into broken to challenge the Humvees. And you see on the mini map, that is where someone from Optic is going to be challenging. So, they don't want any part of that. In the meantime, Space, he's got some solid position over near the B bomb site. Of course, he's got to watch out behind him near the middle alleyway. Optic can, uh, you know, jump through this bottom window here and take space there. And as you see, it's just going to rotate back now. But we know Optic, you know, they spawn near the strip club. Huddle. He's caught between a truck right now. Checking the B-bomb site. This is where Class is located. But Spacey does get first blood. I don't know why I switch off of Spacey. He takes out J-Cap and Scumpy. Not sure where these dead bodies are, but you should definitely, definitely be looking around for the bomb as... Uh, Nate shot is usually the bomb carrier for Optic. Nate is still alive, so they should just assume that the bomb is in his hands. As he's just taking cover over near the top apartments. This is where Huddle's located. Looking under the truck over near the mid alley. Classic with his overkill sniper rifle. He's going to be in the gas station. And Replace is just watching the broken building. So let's switch over to the Optic guys. 
It's going to be big time. Rick is right through mid alley. Of course, we know that Huddle was watching near this area, and Spacely is above him. So he could potentially pick up a, a few kills, and it's actually going to be big timer carrying the bomb for Optic. So switching it up here. Huddle was behind that truck, but it looks like big timer wants to spot him. In fact, he, he could go right for the bomb plant now. In Call of Duty Ghost, battle chatter is very loud. So you can hear the characters, you know, making call outs, you know, saying where people are. And of course, you can hear the bomb plant, the bomb plant. It's very loud in this game. So crank your turtle beaches up. And uh, you hear lots of sound, but Big Timer spots one top pawn. Two and two situation right now. Let's go over to Nature. It's going to be moving over to help out Big Timer spots one down low. Takes out replays. The last remaining player for phase was near top pawn shop. Big Timer in a great location behind the bomb site. Well, Nate Shot is above him. And so switch over to the final phase member. It's going to be classic. He's actually made his way right to the bomb site. He's going to go for the fuse right here. Optic is not going to allow that to happen as they're going to go up two to one as uh, Nate kind of timed out of the game. You know, it was one one. So we're starting it up from back there. So good awareness from the Optic guys, of course. You don't want to get Ninja diffused on. I see Big T and Nate Chat both picking up two kills. And that was a 4 and 2 situation for Optic. And they were able to make two picks and, of course, get that bomb plant down. So, good stuff so far. Okay. This is much easier to switch two players. I didn't know I could do this. Who do I want to watch? I control everything. Replays, Spacely. Yeah, let's watch Spacely. He's doing the best so far on his team. As once again, it's going to be a quick B push. That seems to be what the offense likes to do on this map. And they're just going to try to see if anybody on defense pushes up into the apartments. Of course, you can actually breach uh, uh, one of the walls over here. So they got to watch out for that. Space in huddle. You see Classic near the mid alley. But where's the replays on all this? Okay. There's the replays. He's going to be the bomb carrier. Space next to him. Huddle challenging top pawn shot. Now, I believe what he's trying to do here is if he could pick up the kill, that's great. But his main goal is to force that player out of position so that they can't pick off the bomb planner. Uh, replays, I believe, is carrying the bomb. But Nate Shot with his sniper rifle does take out Huddle, so staying around the area for a bit too long. Optic in a, a good spot off the start here. Replays looking over to mid alley. Spacely just trying to work with what he's got here, checking the flank over near Strip Club. It looks like they might be making a rotation to the A bomb site, but you got to be very cautious. There's so many different positions Optic could be located in, and when you run across the middle map, there's not much cover you could utilize to take cover from those sniper rifles. But it looks like they're very worried about their flank. They think maybe someone pushed into the strip club or is around that area. And Spacely peeking out near mid map. Shots going down with the bomb car. That's going to be replaced. He got sitting out Spacely with the cleanup kill, but now he's taking fire from top broken. And he's actually the last one alive. You see it's Spacely versus Nade, Jcap, and Scumpy leaning near the Jeep. And he's going to get picked off. Optic take a 3-1 to one round lead. And you see a sniper right from Scumpy. Spots him once. Sees him leaning. Takes him out in the shoulder. Solid stuff. So Optic now one round away from closing out. Octane search and destroy and forcing map 3. Of the series. If you're just joining us now, this is the 4v4 Search and Destroy kickoff tournament on MLG Play. This is the first time we're seeing Search and Destroy play in a, a competitive setting. And it looks like Optic, they're going to change stuff up here. Maybe gearing up for an A push, but Nate shot with the sniper rifle. He's going to be watching the push over towards the apartments here. Does spot one near the truck with the thermal sight on. Waiting for him to peek out once more so he could rip his face off. I got to stay with Nate here. But maybe that player pushed him to the apartment. So they got to be wary of that. But right now, they're just holding position. I actually got another glimpse of him. And Nate is waiting patiently. But you got to watch out for the other players on the map. You don't want to focus. Get tunnel vision on that one player. Because when that starts to happen, you get shot from a, a different part on the map. So it looks like it's going to be Nate and Big Timer, the bomb carrier. Starting to make the way to the B bomb site. So they're just playing it so up to start. Nate with the pistol. Looking for this player he saw in the beginnings of the round. Stone Grenade does not connect. Still has a frag available for use. Jcap, he's going to go up to clear out top apartments. See, he's crouched, so he doesn't want to make any noise. Ain't shot. He just goes there. I don't see anything. I'm going to go help out my buddy near the uh, the B bomb site. Nade peeking around with the sniper. 
switch over to Scumpy, who also has a sniper rifle in hand. So just like in Black Ops 2, overkill, very important. Scumpy with the sniper does take out Spacey, but not before Space was able to take out Nature and Big Time. That's also going to drop the bomb as Optic are now in a three-on-two situation. And they are trapped near this B-bomb site. Scump is going to go right for it, it looks like. But takes out the sniper rifle, looking over towards Pawn Shop Alleyway. And it looks like he's just going to back down. Maybe he saw someone over near the diner. But he's just trying to work this position. You see where J-Cap is. He's top apartments. Nobody right now watching the flank. So if somebody from FaZe was moving in from the strip club or even jumping through the side apartment window, he'd be able to do some damage. J-Cap finds one, takes out Classic, but now taking heavy fire from Pawn Shop, forced to back down. What is Scumpy going to do? Taking out Medallion. Now they know where the remaining two players for FaZe are located. They're going to try to drop back and reposition themselves here. Back over to J-Cap. He's the one watching the bomb. Scump does not see anything. Mid-Alley, there goes J-Cap, picked off by Huddle. Scump now forced to rotate over. Spots one. It's going to be Huddle cleaning them both up. Phase is stay alive for at least another round. As you see the scoreboard, big time of four and two. Five and three for Spacey. He's definitely the guy to look out for. Overall round count is three to two in Optic's favor. First of four rounds here. And search and destroy, of course. So, switching sides. I actually want to stay with Optic here on their defensive round. And let's see what these guys are using. Nachop the sniper. Big T with an assault rifle. Jacob assault rifle. Nachop, sniper. I think Scump might have overkill on with uh, his AK. But we'll stick with Nachop and see what he's kind of working with. What angles he's looking at, what positions on the map he's favoring. So he just wants to watch near the, the B bomb site, it looks like. And he's going to spot one. Does not connect though. Switch over to Scumpy, who's they got a nice little crossfire going on here. J Cap setting up over near Top Broken. Of course, when you're in this position, you gotta watch out for the Humvees to his right. Of course, Top Strip Club as well. And he's got his teammate Big Timer. He's got that all covered. Nate Shot will connect onto Spacely. Big Timer, he's gonna be aggressive near the Strip Club. That shot's not going down. Bottom apartments. Big Timer looking for the pick. It's gonna be Scumpy. Clear line of sight onto this bomb site. Spots one jumping across. Oh man, Scump wants this kill. In the meantime, you see Big Timer was able to take out Classic. And now Optic, they're going to make their move in for the kill. It's FaZe that actually had to make a play here. They're the ones on offense. They need to get the bomb down. A minute 30 remaining in the round. Nate Shot's grabbing a bite to eat in the diner here. But Huddle takes out Big Timer, so FaZe still down 3 to 2 overall in terms of the total man count. But trying to make picks happen across the map. J-Cap makes some shots over near the strip club. But time not in FaZe's favor here. I mean, they still have a minute to work with, which is still a good chunk of time. But they just don't have as much map presence as they would like right now. I mean, they're down in man count, so they really can't be aggressive around the map. They got to work in, you know, their, their pair here. They got to try to work a two-on-one or a two-on-two. Scumptor is watching across near the Jeeps. Now, it doesn't look like anyone from Optic has a line of sight near the B bomb site right now. So, FaZe, they could potentially work that area of the map. There you see Optic set up. They got a decent, you know, setup going. You know, two players near Diner, one just hanging back near the A bomb site. Let's switch over to FaZe and see what their, their plan is here. Looks like they are near the B bomb site. Replays should be making his way for the bomb plan. The action going down with Huddle, but you see Replays. He's got to make his decision soon. Now, only 20 seconds remaining. Looks like he was taking f shots from uh, Bottom Diner. It's going to be Huddle trying to challenge while his teammate goes for the bomb plant. But now, all of Optic, they're going to swarm in. Huddle takes out Nate Shot, but Scump drops the bomb planter. Ten seconds remaining in the round. It's looking very grim for a phase here. He's got just enough time. He's not even going to go for the bomb plant. Has to find two kills here in three seconds. Not going to happen as Optic are going to take Octane Search and Destroy. Order to the total round count, and each shot timed out when it was tied 1-1, so we just restarted the game. And now we're going to map number three, guys. In game one, it was Warhawk. FaZe came out strong, Switching winning sides. the first three rounds, and they ended it with a nice A push, but Optic, they answer back with Octane. Solid defensive hold by them there. Because we are going to the final map of the series. There you see your final score, where Big Timer finishes on top. Five and three, four and two, four to two is Nate shot. And so it's just a team effort from the Optic guys. Two, three, four, five were their total kills.
And they are unfortunately Classic unable to find a kill in those uh, rounds played at the end there. But solid stuff from Optic. I'm really liking Search and Destroy right now, but we're going to do a commercial break. When we come back, the final map of the series between Optic Gaming and FaZe Competitive. Stay tuned.